and baby videos are always the coolest just the things they do because they have no care in the world they'll just do some really amazing stuff gotta love those you've probably heard the phrase nice guys finish last and perhaps you've experienced it as as you watch pushy inconsiderate guys get the job you want or get the romantic attention of someone you've been pinning for it doesn't seem fair now does it so today on seven things to know this morning we tell you some ways to show people that you value yourself and that they should value you too or if you like how to break the nice guy stereotype all right first know the things of being know the signs of being a nice guy which include avoiding conflict by withholding opinions or even becoming agreeable with people when you don't actually agree or always seeking approval from others then second stop agreeing with everyone and everything that does not mean that you should disagree or argue for argument's sake but you are your own person with your own opinions and preferences if you find yourself agreeing with everyone, you might be undercutting your individuality. Then, stop being a people pleaser. Don't bend over backwards to accommodate everyone except yourself. If you identify with the nice guy dilemma, you're probably a kind of person who loves to help people. And that's wonderful. But don't be so humble that you become a slave to everyone else's needs and expectations. Learn to say no. Next point, draw the line. Don't allow people to disrespect or ignore you. Stand up for yourself. If a co-worker steals your idea and passes it off as his own, you're not being nice by letting it slide. You're being cowardly. If, you date, um, if your date doesn't show up and doesn't even bother to call beforehand or afterwards to explain, you're not being nice by overlooking a lack of consideration. You're actually being a doormat. Also, pace yourself. Be patient with yourself and with others. At work, this means not biting off more than you can chew. In dating, it means not getting too attached too quickly. Don't give someone everything they want all at once and expect nothing in return. Every relationship is a two-way street. And finally, remember that you don't need anyone to be happy. Once you feel you need something, as in you want it so badly that you do almost anything to get it, and it's something that only someone else can give to you, uh, i.e. someone else's approval, regard, or affection, you essentially put your happiness completely in somebody else's control. Instead, base your self-worth on your own actions and efforts rather than on how others perceive you and those are the seven things you need to know this morning on how you can break the nice guy stereotype courtesy of wikihow but of course don't get me wrong we're not saying nice guys are bad we're just saying don't be a dumbass don't let people uh you know push you over still have that individuality and your voice had and your opinions had as well very important you are on